Hey folks, thanks for joining me once again. Well, tonight, sadly, is my last night in Japan, and uh, I have one last review to do for you all. The beer I have chosen is Suntory's Kinmugi Rich Malt, which comes in at 5% alcohol by volume. Now, um, like the Asahi brew that I um, reviewed uh, earlier, it's also a Hapushu beer, a low malt beer. Now, um, yeah, I have um, rather enjoyed the uh, Suntory brews that I've uh, tried um, in my stay uh, here in Japan. So I'm interested in seeing what uh, this one's like. All right, so uh, without further ado, I'll uh, crack this can open. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to procure any proper glassware while I've uh, been here, so I'm just pouring it into this uh, plastic cup. Okay, so let's get a look at that. So, um, yes, it's very beer-like. A clear golden color. Relatively effervescent. A uh, fine ring of um, bright white head. All right, so on to the um, aroma. Hmm. To be honest, I'm getting very little here. A very, very faint smell of grain, perhaps. Hmm. All right, so we've talked about the appearance and the aroma, so that could only mean it's time for the most important part of the review, the taste test. So cheers to you all. Let's dive in. All right, well, um, up front, I'm getting a um, pleasant malty, brady sort of a taste. Um, yeah, it's decent. It's uh, definitely um, better than that uh, uh, clear Asahi um, that I uh, had. <laughs> the bitterness is um, pretty much non-existent in this one as well. Um, yeah, uh, is it drinkable? Well, sure. Um, Certainly going down smooth. I need to have another gulp. Mm. All right, well, it's holding that taste profile. Certainly one you could session and um, a good thirst quencher for a, a hot summer's day. As far as uh, the body goes, it's um, somewhere between light and medium, but uh, definitely leaning towards light. Hmm. And uh, yeah, like the uh, clear Asahi, the price point was um, very good for this one. Um, yeah, very cheap. Uh, probably about half the price you pay for a regular beer um, here in Japan. All right, well, um, time to wrap this up, folks. So um, I think I'll have one last gulp and uh, give this one a score out of 10. All right, well, um, all in all, it's not too bad. Definitely has all those crisp and clean, um, you know, characteristics, uh, you know, you'd look for in a beer. Definitely refreshes. Um, this trip to Japan has been a bit of a voyage of discovery uh, as far as this Hapushu style goes. It's not something that I had any awareness of, to be honest, until I came here and, uh, researched it. I think it was the gold master that really, uh, you know, triggered um, my curiosity, um, yeah, for this uh, style. But, um, yeah, quite interesting. It seems to be quite popular here in Japan. All right, well, uh, a score out of 10. Well, it's nothing earth-shattering, but it definitely, uh, you know, has all those refreshing sort of uh, characteristics you look for in a beer. So I'd probably give this one a solid... Uh, 6.5 out of 10. So uh, there you go, folks. A 6.5 out of 10. All right. So um, do check this out if you um, come to Japan. I'm just going to kick back now and uh, 
enjoy the rest of this. So until next time, fare thee well, all. Oh.